It, it all fits together now. Yes. Oh, do you hear that? that you're like that, that. What that maid like muttering to herself? She says like, "I have to keep this position." I, I, if he says bring a bottle, bring a bottle. If he says do this, do this. If he says undress, I undress. Mm. Mutter. Yeah. So, this is not a good workplace. Hostile work environment. Exactly. There's that uh, running theory that uh, all Disney animated films are um, oh, connected. So. Well, of course, they're all part of the Dishonored universe. Ah, yes, yes. All these children, all the characters were orphaned by Corvo. All of them. Nighty night. <laughs> oh! Sorry about that! <laughs> oh! <Head> right through. <laughs> oh! She's, she's gonna look like Jigsaw from The Punisher now. <laughs> oh! I like their sort of, like, direction-specific ones. Like, he was, like, sort of turning towards me, so I got him in the side of the throat. Yes. And easy corpse disposal. Now, did she die from that? No, no, she says she's still unconscious, so... Yeah. She, she's not dead, she, she, she's just horrifically maimed. Like I said, she's gonna be Jigsaw now. It's either the softest glass, or that lady has true future <laughs> in the... She's using that makeup from the Catwoman movie. Ah, uh, yes. As long as we're talking super. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. No, Cat Catwoman's dad definitely died. I mean, she's uh -oh. not a superhero anyways, Oop. but... There's another one. Because I am magnanimous, you may keep your face. For now. Place her under the table. It will simply be a popular maid napping spot. <laughs> exactly. This is just this is just the break room. They go in here, have a smoke, lie under the table a while. So one time I was at uh, work and uh, I wasn't feeling very good, and uh, I saved up uh, something like. Speaking of not feeling good at work. <laughs> anyway, you were saying. I saved up like four of my ten minute breaks uh -huh. and uh, just went into the break room and crawled under the table and fell asleep. <laughs> it was uh, it was not a glorious moment in my life. Switching. Another time at the same office I uh, came into work sick and just keeled over. Really? Yeah. It was after I like I had like I got in trouble with my boss like the previous day, and he was like, "You need to show more enthusiasm for this job." And so I came in sick, and he's like, "What the hell is wrong with you?" And you I'm attempt like, you so you responded by attempting to work yourself to death. Yes. Well, that does show enthusiasm. I'm so happy to be here. Aww. Do you think there's like a Dunwall football team? Football, like American football, or like soccer? Like soccer, I guess, since this is the... Uh, I, I bet I bet there is, and I, I bet Dunwall soccer hooligans are just the scariest motherfuckers you will ever meet. Oh, the worst. That's why they had such a large city guard before the <laughs> Just It's just for the soccer riots. Yeah. Of the way we were. <laughs> oh, there he is. What? There you are. Diving attack. Oh, seamless oh. edit. Seamless. Nothing strange going on here, no sir. Oh! Nice one, Matt. There goes another one. Ow! Oh! Right in the side. Oh. I gotta say, two shots within a second of each other from this gun is pretty impressive. Yeah. It's a whale-fueled killing machine. Whale-greased, whale-fueled. 
I'm not sure why he's got just a searchlight in a display case. <laughs> Maybe it's got sentimental value. But oh, here, check it out. Here's a painting of dead ass. Remember they talk about yes. he pa he painted he painted uh one of the late Boyle ladies who's the mistress. Of just Scott Steiner, fat asses. It's just how do you? It's I, I guess you must have like a really close open relation close relationship if you can feel go up to your girlfriend's like, honey, I'd like you to pose while this guy just paints your paints your butt. So I so I can have a picture of it wherever you know to remind me of you when you're not at home not here. Yeah, I just, I mean, are you comfortable with that? No. Oh. That's well. That that's basic. That's basically what people. That's what people on like Dunwall MySpace do because they don't have little like cell phone cameras to do selfies. They just have their buttocks painted. Or belfies in this case, which are a real thing, but selfies. I didn't. Well, I, I'm sure. I, I didn't know there was a spe specialized term for it. Yes, Kim Kardashian uh, helped popularize it. Always an innovator. <laughs> Big stockpile true, of something down here. The true innovator of our generation. Yep. Steve yep. Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, comparison to Kim Kardashian. Yeah, like I said, he's got what appears to be a big like hydroelectric generator, which is interesting because everyone else is so into whale oil. Sokolov is, a, Sokolov is an ecologically friendly, unethical scientist. Yes. He does have a strange sense of decorum. Yeah, I, I, again, I just don't get those display cases. Don't make much sense. With those spotlights. <laughs> Oh, that, that, it didn't occur to me to question this at the time. You just bring it up. Why are those there? Nice quick cable running in here. Ooh, but it's walled off on this side, too. Ha! Ah. You thought you'd outwitted me, Sokolov, but... Right. Well, that is the correct way to, f to build it. Just no... It's basically a giant cubicle. Yes. Let's see what lies beyond. Seamless. Huh? Seamless. Whoa. Oh, meanwhile in the Matrix. <laughs> Down he goes. There's some sort of like spooky evil whispering when you're in slow mo too, I think. So I'm just wondering, do you think you could shoot bullets when you t stop time and then run around to the other side and get in front of them? I think you're b I think the bullets that you fire still move at normal speed. Ah. Uh, darn. That'd be pretty awesome. Just gotta do that every time you see it, huh? Oh. Spin that spin that globe. Of course. The game's globe physics are one of the reasons I bought it. Uh, Ooh, three hundred dollars worth of ingots. Nice. Mysteries of Pandicia. Hold on a moment. Excerpt from a book on the far continent, Pandicia. <coughs> now, remember, we've already heard some pretty spooky things about this place. Right. And Sokolov has been there. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandician continent as a place of wonder, where all of life has, inter has entwined and blossomed across eons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies of cults of submen engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. The few who have traveled to the far continent and come back to the Isles, those who have actually touched the soil there, have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles, 
and outlandish, outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there, in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. Not just failure, but madness and failure. Yeah, so there's something... Something about Pandicia. That's more than just physical danger, it seems. I have to admit, when I read that, all I can read is Mists of Pandicia. <laughs> the new expansion. For World of Dunwall. Yes, they've got martial arts there, and... Pandas. Pandicias. Although, is, is this, you, this is Dishonored, so it would have to be some scary, screwed-up version of pandas. Yes. Like they eat human flesh or something. Well, I, I, if I recall, I don't, I don't think uh, giant pandas are opposed to that. What, in real life? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're carnivores. I didn't know or that. Or omnivores. Okay. Well, I guess most bears are. I just I, I never heard of them eating people. Yeah, I don't think they'd be opposed to it. I don't know that they hunt people. Hunt the deadliest game of all? Yes, the most... De the most dangerous <laughs> game of all! Panda! Yeah, the most dangerous game. Oh, it makes me think of Tropic Thunder. And I'm, I'm imagining some, like... Some, like, grizzled old hunter with a panda head on his wall. Have you seen Tropic Thunder? I have not. Oh, God, it's amazing. I'm not sure what that drawing on that blackboard over there was supposed to be. Whale suffering? Possibly. Notice that, like, check out that, like, banner there. Yes. Not, it's not, it's not the friendliest image. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Black and red and lightning bolts and... Reminds me a lot of, a uh, regime. Which regime? Z regime. The Nazi regime. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sh I'm sure I'm sure that's sort of intentional. This sort of fascistic kind of imagery. Ow. Uh. Oh no, fall damage. Yeah, I was I was kind of surprised by that. There's plenty of stuff to eat and throw around. Make yourself feel better. All oh, right, money. Cash. And this, like I said, this over here, this is the farthest limit of the stage. So far as I know, there's no way beyond. I didn't try, sw I don't know what happens if you swim out, try to, like, pass those barriers. I didn't try it. I'm guessing there's probably some sort of invisible barrier here. Or perhaps they're fish. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe the fish get you. Trespassers will be prosecuted. You know what that kind of looks like? The Romulan Empire symbol you see in some Star Trek. Oh, yeah. A dangerous intruder has been spotted on Carlin's bridge. Star Trek is also in the Dishonored Universe, confirmed. <laughs> oh, yeah, th this is when I that looking for that treasure that was described in the notes and I couldn't find it, so I just decided to hell with it. Let's head back now. Been a long, hard day of killing and occasionally not killing. Forty-eight hostiles killed. You know, that guy has been unconscious for a long time now. He's definitely got brain damage. Sokolov? Yeah. Maybe he's just what maybe maybe he's just bound and gagged at this point. Yeah. I did not know being unconscious was that bad for you. Well it depends on how you're put unconscious, but 